In this video I want to share with you my most favorite docker commands that I am using every single day. And if you are using docker compose really a lot, typically you want first of all to build all your images and then start your docker compose. In order to do that we are typically writing docker compose build, we are waiting for the whole build and then we are writing docker compose up. This is totally fine, but we can combine directly these two commands and write docker compose up minus minus build. In this case, first of all, it will check all images and if they are needed to be built, it will build them and then start your docker compose. The next command that you really need to use often is docker ps, which means show me docker processes. As you can see here, you can see all containers which are already started on my machine. You can see on the left IDs of these containers, then names of these containers and commands which started these containers. And obviously the status and when they were created. It is extremely important to check what containers are running and it might help you to debug your problem. Additionally to that, when you need a container ID, you can always take it from here or take an image name. In this case, you can easily use them in another command. Another command that I'm using really often is called docker exec, and it means that we want to execute some command inside some container. I'm sorry for interruption, but I just want to let you know that I have lots of advanced courses on different web technologies where we create real applications and prepare for the interviews. You can find the link in the description box below. And typically you want here minus i and t to be attached to this container. After this we must provide the name of our container, for example MLA web and then a command. For example we can write here echo1. As you can see here we got one back, but the main point is that this command was executed inside the container. We can do something better, I can call here rails console and it will open for me a console of rails inside my container. One more way how we can use docker exec is of course to jump inside the container with shell. And as you can see here I am directly inside the container, I can see all files inside my container or execute any commands. For example I can write a command inside the container to check the log file for errors. So I am writing here tail-f log production log. And here we can see some errors and debug them if it is needed. And when we are talking about logs, we obviously need to look on the command docker logs. And we have both docker logs and docker compose logs, where we can provide logs and then we can write minus minus tail 10, which means we want to see 10 last logs and we are providing the name of our container, for example webdev. As you can see here we got logs which were written for this container. If you want to specify some container then you will get all logs for all your containers. One more super important command is docker prune and at some point when you are developing docker for sure you won't have any free space on your computer. And it happens really a lot when you are testing images and recreating containers again and again. At this moment you need to clean everything. This is why we have a command docker system prune. And by default when we are hitting enter we are getting this question. Warning it will remove all stopped containers, all networks that you are not using, all dangling images and all dangling build cache. We are hitting yes and then the whole machine will be cleaned. But additionally to that you might want to clean all images which are not used now, because they also can take quite a lot of space. This is why here you must write minus a minus minus volumes. I am hitting here enter and as you can see additionally to everything that we had previously, we are getting that all images without at least one container associated with them will be removed, which is typically totally fine to clean all the images. And the last command that I want to show you is amazing for zero downtime deployment. If you are using in production docker with docker compose, you for sure think ok how I can restart all my containers and update them without downtime. And the easiest command to do that we are writing docker compose up minus d because we want to detach it and minus minus build, which actually means your docker compose on production is already running and all your containers are spinning in detached mode. What this command does, it does not duplicate anything, it simply checks all your containers, it pulls newer images if they are needed, it builds everything and then it restarts all containers which are needed to be restarted. In this case you typically are getting zero downtime deployment. 
And actually, if you are interested to learn Docker better, make sure to check my beginner course here on YouTube.